Was at Riptide. Zets. Dude. dude. What's up, man? Oh, uh, you know, it's 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, so. it really is 10 a.m. Yeah. I think I don't think many of us were ready for the 10 a.m. pools back. Um, first time IRL. It's so much easier just to roll out of bed and plug in. Right. Just, you know. Right. But uh, now you got to get dressed, and walk on down, hope to God there's some food that doesn't cost seven dollars <laughs> you know <laughs> good luck with that we'll figure it out folks but right now we're gonna get launched in round one of singles um, we've got tyler swift rising pikachu star uh, pulse gaming sponsored with the fox secondary with the fox secondary the hbox slayer fox secondary yeah he was working hard with a lot of those uh pulse gaming crack shack boys oh yeah um, that whole crowd those guys do they're probably some of the hardest working young folks in the scene right now i'd say Okay. Um, but then we also have Hank, uh, who I don't know much about Hank. Do you? No, I can't say that I do either. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to find out. We have so much Melee to play. Like, this is the start of singles. Like, the entire singles bracket is coming from the very beginning right now all the way to top eight throughout today. So Yeah, we stay busy here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're going to be doing a lot of Super Smash yeah. Brothers today. Um a lot of really big names in this pool as well. Um, Hungrybox is actually in this pool, and uh, yeah, first I don't know what to think about Hbox. Yeah, I which, mean, which is some would say not the play, right? Some folks right. are thinking, you know, Hbox did just get third at Summit. Yes. Um, you know, we finally get to see Lan Hbox back at it, but uh, I think the real question is, is how much does that hold up? Mm -hmm. on land how consistent can he be again and uh i'm excited to see it we'll see if the uh, ring is true it's still so hard to make sense of his results over the past year year and a half but for for whatever reason when he's doing really really well the pandemic hits we're on slippy or even before that we're on net play and his results just aren't there we okay. come back and he immediately goes back to just about where he was beforehand yeah um i can't make sense of it Beyond the whole, like, Ober, like, helping him figure out this, like, audio yeah, decent issue. 12 frames of an 8 audio lag. I, I do expect great things from HBox. I think he's more than capable of taking this. Um, I mean, it's like him, IBW, Plup, and then I guess I don't, I don't really even know Wizzy. who else would be. Wizzy's yeah, Wizzy, Wizzy's sure. Probably that's the top four. You've also got Axe, of course. Uh, Koderin as well has been basically the number one player in SoCal in terms of folks that actually go to locals. Right, right, yeah. yeah. And th this is like, to me, the most exciting part of all this isn't just like who wins, what does top eight look like? Like what does even top 32 look like? Because there's so many people, like you've mentioned, that have been putting in so much work and they've been having all these results online. But again, we don't know how to compare online results to IRL events. We haven't had both at the same time yeah. in like a year and a half. So this is like really the first major proving ground for a lot of younger blood that are trying to prove themselves and that should be really interesting as we get into this match yeah speaking of younger blood we've got both these players on boxes tyler swift of course it looks like we're going to get another hand warmer got to double up on those sometimes yeah yeah hank uh, looks like box fox as well yeah i recognize that jersey i think uh i think run ride and tempo are they also pulse yep so pulse has picked up run ride and tempo solely for doubles which i think is stellar so cool um, so cool man. they've also picked up players like justice um, and a few others as well but tyler swift definitely looking like the second best pikachu in the world yes um, sometimes maybe even the best I mean, whoa we'll see i mean hey look at this punish is here game right now by he the is. way i do want to see him play that's another really interesting thing, because Axe also, like HBox, didn't really m mesh. He didn't gel oh my goodness. with the online play as much. So I, I hope that we can see him show up as well. That would be awesome, because I love Axe. But uh, oh my goodness, just waiting around, scooting all the way back. That's always such a situation where you're crouch canceling the jabs and you want to get the counter attack, but by the time that you SDI far away enough to get the down tilt, they've you stopped. took like 30%. Yeah, and they've stopped doing it and they have advantage again. You're like, oh. oh. And that is, that's a dead fox. Night. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is round one pools, man. This is, well, maybe it's round two of winners. I, I don't really know, but. That jabber so was crazy in the spike. <laughs> this is just textbook. This is beautiful. This is Pikachu. Yeah. Is this going to be a uh, 
A freshman 40? I think so. It's it's looking awfully oh like Oh, my that. God. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, oh no. there's the 50. Okay. Safe from <laughs> humiliation. Okay, Hank. You can do it, Hank. Yeah, showing up. Hey, the game's not even over, by the way. All right, picking up. Okay, okay, okay. very nice up tilt. Wave dash in. Yeah, it feels like Hank's finally getting to start something here. Yeah, that's the thing is when, like, when you can't even really get going, you can't, like, get an opening, you can't, like, yeah. Start to move around. It feels stifling, and you feel like you really can't even get warm against the guy. Sometimes that happens. You also run into Pikachu, which for I'm sure for a lot of low mid level players, the amount of Pikachu experience you have is probably relegated to that one guy at your local who right. thinks he has a Pikachu. Exactly. Um, and so you get Tyler Swift around one of first major back, and you've got to be wondering what's going to go on from here. That's uh, tough, man. Yeah, should just be two out of three, of course. Yeah. Um, and back to Dreamland? Okay. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. Um, I guess, like, in the matchup, really only, like, FOD and maybe Pokemon Stadium or a, a toss up. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I still feel like Fox does pretty well on most of these stages. Right. Pikachu's one of those characters that you really just have to take great pains not to get uh, lost in the sauce over. Absolutely. And the thing is, like, even with Slippy, I feel like there's really still just not that many Pikachus running around. So it's it's a lot harder to get that experience. You might yeah. even be more inclined to find Luigi's or Samus's. At more this so point, than Ice Climbers. <laughs> you know, you have to wonder. But Hank looking pretty solid starting this up, able to get that off the normal getup. Um, you know, goes up. All right. Ledge Dash? Okay. Good slide off there, and actually managing to burn through on that. Yeah, I think just being a little more patient has paid pretty big dividends for Hank. And yeah. I, that's something that kind of comes with the territory as Pikachu. This is if a fox just takes a little bit, that's a lot harder for Pikachu to get in. Agreed. It's like, look out for that, that cross-up Nair. Yeah. And then besides that, like, like the, the world is yours as a fox in this situation. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, really stellar stuff there. I mean, that's just the standard, is just getting that in the air and then getting the tail spike after you drop down. Oh, jab reset, misses the grab follow up though. And it's, it's just matchup things. Like, you can be SDIing out of these down smashes largely, but how many times has Hank ever tried to do that? Yeah. I feel like setting up Pikachu uh, specific conditions in practice, even for Uncle Punch, is uh, probably a bit of a process. Up throw shine? Yeah, a little wacky. Uh, we'll take it. Yeah, not my preferred pick, but we'll run with it. Good tech chase here. Yeah, no, this is solid all the way through. Oh. Kind of like a pseudo FD in the middle of those platforms. Yeah, um, just being able to have that space. Like, you want to DI to platform um, as the spacey in that situation. Oh. Oh, he's okay. Yeah, he's going to make that. Tyler Swift is so fast off the ledge, though. Good tech. Nice tag. Oh, goes for the Swanton Bomb. Doesn't find it. Well, this is going better than last game, but Hank needs to get something started really quickly yeah. if he wants to take it to a game three. We'll see. I mean, right now he just needs that big straight back here. That's all you can really hope for at this point is that or just ripping it down like up smash. But. Yeah, and he's gotten hit by so many of these. That will do it. All right, Hank. Oh, man. I really love how wow. Tyler Swift positions himself <laughs> on platforms to be able to get those follow-ups. Yeah. Just lets it linger and then throws out whatever he needs to. But Tyler Swift taking it 2-0. That's the first singles game at a major. On this stream. On this stream. <laughs> there, maybe. I want to yeah. well, let's take the acclaim. Let's just uh, let's just say no one else finished their match. Yeah, no, uh, no. It, it, it was an honor to cast the yeah. very first melee the set very back first melee set. alongside you, man. We did it. We made it. We did uh, it, guys. It looks as though coming up next, we've got J Flex versus Elysian Ray. Um, yeah. And so J Flex, of course, super well respected Sheik out mm -hmm. of, um, I want to say, New Jersey. Sounds right. New Jersey, tri state yeah. area. Mm -hmm. um, and then Elysian Ray, I believe, is a Marth player, um, one of the Gale folks. Okay. So, um, right on. Yeah, they do pretty good work um, from what I've seen of them. Uh, but J Flex is kind of a different beast.
Yeah, man, in Marth Sheik, uh, I feel like once you get to like a really high level, it gets pretty close to even, but if you're like in a mid or like, you know, upper middle class kind of level, yeah. I, I don't know, just Sheik's ease, like, ease of execution with a lot of like their follow-ups, that's gonna give Sheik a pretty big edge in my opinion. Yeah, honestly, I think that just the Sheik being even slightly better than the Marth is mm -hmm. a really, really damning part of the matchup. Um, you just get ease of execution with Sheik for that matchup. And Marth, I feel like, has to work pretty hard. But um, who knows? I'd love to see a little little upset happen. I think that we're in the best time for our brackets being as unstable as possible. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. You know, you never know if any individual is just particularly not really going to be happy about a 10 a.m. pool. Yeah. Maybe they stayed up a little bit too late last night partying. I know, I, I'm sure there's some people who were just up last night drinking, having some fun with people. I don't know I, anyone that would do that. Not no, a, never, 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 never. No, but no, hypothetically, no. if somebody did, I could imagine them looking at like their Smash GG like, I wonder when my pool is tomorrow. Penny, yeah. Oh, it's it's in eight hours. Oh, no. Oh. I could, that, that probably would be me, had I entered. Yeah, I. Uh, they are working us quite a bit, which I appreciate. You know, we are we're doing a lot of commentary, all of us. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is like the the most I will have commentated at a single event, probably ever. Yeah, twelve hours over two days is awesome, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a heck of a lot easier than ten a.m. pools. Yeah, it is. Having to commentate at ten a.m., we like to complain. You know, we do. We we try to be so brave and strong about it. Uh huh. Um, but uh. <laughs> You know, sometimes we just we just gotta complain a little bit. But True. The stakes are pretty low. Yeah. Here, competing you know? at 10 a.m. No, those are that's an entirely different thing. Yeah. I do not feel very stressed out right now. No. I'm kind of chilling. No. These guys, on the other hand, especially like Alicia and Ray, like yeah. you're trying to like score an upset right now. Like I'm like I'm barely even awake. <laughs> that's just a lot to ask, I think. Yeah. Just barely, barely coming into the consciousness. And what what's that sponsor for for J Flex? Um. Uh, I'm not certain, honestly. It's like crab tree. Oh yeah, it might be the. Uh, it's like crab. Oh, something. it's something. Crab ste, crabby. Crab, yeah, crabby patty. Crabby patty. Ah. <laughs> Let's see here. Um. So they're both getting up. And switching seats. Okay. I've seen this. I saw this in doubles last night. Maybe it's just like the overlay or something. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Apparently, Gatsu wanted to switch seats last night in doubles. This is more of like a stream sort of reason. Probably just have them lined up for each player, all that jazz. Yeah. All right. Looks like JFlex is trying to get like a an upbeat cancel with Sheik, which is actually doable, but it's so hard. I can literally count on one hand, the number of times I've seen it, like, in a set. Yeah. It's so hard getting edge cancel with that. Because, like, her drift is basically non-existent. You yeah. have to be perfect to be able to get it. You have to be, like, in the perfect spot. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just, like, how? Like, there's, I, I feel like there's, like, not a lot of, like, visual cues. It's not like her up B is, like, exactly the length of a platform. Like, you just have to know. And it's also yeah. the kind of thing where it's so difficult to pull off that I feel like there's not a lot of Sheiks out there that have grinded it yet. Yeah, and what's the payoff, right? Yeah. I feel like the payoff would be kind of huge if yeah. you could get to that point. But also, that means that you were able to, like, cross the entire platform up, which probably means you might have been able to get to ledge or had a couple other options with, like, air dodges and such. That is something I think it would be really cool to see some Sheik mains pushing. So, I don't know. Maybe JFlex is practicing that. Perhaps, perhaps. I mean, optimization is always a good thing. But we're going to get down to it on Battlefield. Starting off, just getting the needle game going. And the grab's already locked in. This is like a very like traditional style of like fighting games I'm seeing here from JFlex. Like, you're at long distance. We're going to fireball. We're just uh -huh. going to use that needle. Uh -huh. uh, and as soon as we have like advantage from that, we are going to go ahead and run it, basically. And... Right now, looking solid. Not quite able to get run off there. there. Yeah. Barely able to make the ledge there, but that is death. That's the thing, too, is when you're Marth, like, you're able to get the ledge, and you feel like you have a second chance, it's still like, okay, how do I get up back onto the stage? Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Nice. Snap the ledge was good there. Not quite able to get the punish, but Elysian Ray's batting away at J Flex here. Yeah, Elysian, great job taking the ledge there, but like the edge guarding too, and like the decision making once Sheik is back on stage feels like surprisingly nuanced. Yeah, it's a, it's a little tricky with Mark because you aren't like, you know, Falcon or Fox where they can just jump up from ledge and hit you with like a meaningfully hard hitbox. Right. Um, you know, you're not going to kill someone off Mars forward air back air, right? You might be able to get the Nair up there, mm -hmm. um, but even then that can be ASDI down at low percents. So it's a, it's a really rough one when you're like holding ledge and trying to rinse and repeat the sheet. G-Flex almost got that double fair. That would have been sick. That would have been so crazy. Oh, goes for the Tomahawk grab. Felician just moving a little bit too much for that to work. That could have been backer, backer looked like. But, all right. Trying to just juggle Sheik. Always doable, a little bit tricky. If you can get it, though, like that's where Marth really starts to shine in this matchup, is not letting Sheik land and keeping her above you. Yeah. I mean, Marth's just strongest two zones are edge guarding, which it's difficult to deal with a Sheik in the corner unless they're like on ledge already. Um, scared to approach that, but... Are we going to see a four stock here? Oh, my are we God. Our, are we getting our... Our oh second one of the God. day. Yeah, I that think we are. That was a zero to death. Holy moly. Oof. Yeah, no. Um, oh, I think it's Cree Stab. Cree Stab. Cree that's, stab. that's it. Um, nice. Yeah, Cree Stab Gaming. But uh, JFlex looking profoundly ready for today in pools. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he is, he is here to game. All of course, right. we got to do uh, – wait, wait, wait. And by of course, I mean – I'm very surprised that we're here, actually, that because we're in I would think that this would be the ban. Yeah, from from Marth, absolutely. One would, one would maybe see that. So this looks like it's, you know, you'd think maybe like FD would be the go-to. FD maybe gets banned. Like maybe. this is like arguably Marth's worst stage in the matchup. And Elysian is like, I just got four socks. Let's up the ante a little bit. <laughs> Let's just make it a little harder for ourselves. Oh, okay. Let's make, it, let's make it a little bit harder for ourselves. <laughs> Maybe they know something we don't. Yeah. Really, really clean pick up there. Um, and J Flex just plays very systematically. Like, has his core game plan. Really just works like the optimal punish as much as possible. Nice Love that slide, slide off. off. Yep. Yes, sir. Feigning taking the ledge, but with Sheik, it's like so easy to just like option select going to the ledge anyway. Yeah. So if you're not actually there, uh, you, it's, it's kind of tough to fake her out sometimes. Ooh. Really nice ledge dash, reclaim ledge, and ramen noodle that. Yeah, super slippery. All right. Oh, nice. That was cool. Yeah. That's a, that's a hard call out, too, to be able to get that. You have to just be tracking like that. Okay. Up on platform. Okay, nice up there to set this up. Yeah, Lucy Ray is doing so much better than uh, last game. Last Remarkably game. better. Yeah, honestly. And, oh, okay. Yep, just able to reset on stage. Very nice movement to get to ledge, though. Yep, this has just been an extended juggle punish for <laughs> the last 20 seconds. But right now, J-Flex, such a reliably good combo game. Like, has been getting at least 50 to 60% every time he gets a hit. That's the right. thing. That's the thing, is... Yep. Elysian is doing a lot better, but couldn't clutch out this stock, and J-Flex is looking like they're going to be moving on pretty soon here, unless Elysian can really pull something out. Yeah, this is a, this would be a crazy comeback to mount, but, oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, they really like know. that dash through grab from behind. I've seen that a few times. Yeah, I mean, it's a great call. There it is um, again. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, my wow. gosh. It's so unfortunate. She like she always just ducks down when she lands, and it really contorts her herfox such that a lot of moves will miss when you think they would hit. Yeah, she pancakes so hard, man. Like it's almost like puff. True. It's like, does she really need that? I can't tell you how many oh, Falco no. shines I've missed in that situation. I feel you there, brother. No. Nice. Okay. Great damage here. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about this stage, though, is that that top platform is so tall that if you go up there to try to continue a shark and you don't win that interaction, she basically gets out for free. Yeah. If we're on a stage like Yoshi's or... Another one? Oh, my nice. gosh. Okay. That's even. Holy Last moly. Time. We talked about mounting that comeback, but... Oh, oh no. Oh. Just as you say it. Just a spit in the face of it all. Still, though, I mean, for Elysian to get 
four stocks game one and then bring it to Dreamland of all places and then bring that to last stock. Yeah. Really, really nice adaptive, uh, adaptive play. Definitely about it. We definitely just saw a lot more clean punish game. Uh, the juggling was miles better. Right. Super, super solid play all the way through. And uh, I just think the neutral as well. Like, mm -hmm. they were able to find so many more opportunities to rack damage up. And it really felt like game one, they were always fighting from behind. And J-Flex always somehow seemed to find that opening before. Yeah. I mean, they almost got that three-stock comeback. And then they just got one bad interaction off ledge. And that's all it takes against top players. That's Sheik Marth. That's sure. Sheik Marth for sure. Oh, man. But coming up next, we've got Sinbad versus Dawson. Um, so Sinbad is a, I believe, Sheik player from uh, Florida, from, I believe, Tampa. Um, okay. Pretty solid player. Um, and then there's Dawson, who, of course, has been making waves in the net play era. Yes. Um, yes. Not to be confused with Bad Melee Dawson, who's from SoCal and also a Puff player. <laughs> um, Man, that's, but so, that's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot to process. But yeah, I think Dawson, another one of those big names we've been talking about, like Ben, um, you know, like Aklo. I mean, we saw Aklo at Summit, but so many of these players that have been coming around in the Slippy era, and it's like, how are they going to do when they come to a, like an IRL event? So this should be fun to see. Absolutely. And I think uh, I'm probably just going to rip a quick hand warmer here, but Sinbad is fast, you know. You come from a region that has a player like Plup, you have an easy Sheik to aspire to. True. Um, and I think that, honestly, uh, we could see an upset here. I know Dawson has been grinding. He's been making a lot of really good plays and a lot of good upsets himself, um, getting established as a player more and more. But um, Florida runs pretty damn deep. Yeah, and Florida knows how to fight against Puff, that's for sure. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, just watching Sinbad, like, warming up. I remember back, back in my day when I was a competitor, I would, like, I would pay a decent amount of attention to my opponent during the hand warmer and just try to see, like, what are they practicing? How are they moving? What can I get from that? Like, yeah. what can I learn about their play style based on that? And you can just kind of tell that Sinbad is fairly technical, really fast, and is going to be very capable of extending punishes in situations where other Sheiks might not. All right, Paws off. The true tag on. I was going to say a Dreamland start would be crazy, but uh, sensible minds prevail. Here we go. All right, so in this matchup in particular, Puff looks for that kind of up air specifically to catch Sheik short hopping. Um, it's one of the big tools in neutral you'll see from Puff, um, just trying to catch the short hop aerial to punish Puff's landing. Um, Sheik is another one of the characters for which Puff can pancake under that grab. Yes, right? absolutely. I don't think Sheik has a response to it like Mark does, uh -huh. um, where the dash grabs work sometimes. Uh, I think Sheik just gets raw beat by, uh, by CC and crouching from a... Uh, oh my goodness. Really good awareness of the space in there to get the, the Mango-esque F-Smash. Covering ledge, and this should be pretty easy yeah. to okay. mop up here. Yeah, just a rinse and repeat. Gonna go high, forward smash it, absolutely. Yeah, I don't think enough puffs to use forward smash because that moves actually crazy. Um, it's really good. It there has, it is again. Yeah, it has some of the best knockback growth in the game. Oh, the tomahawk up tilt, very oh, nice. Yeah. Try to call out another jump, but we get a shield drop from Sinbad instead. Yep. Just okay. take the rest. Should be able to get some decent damage here. All right, yeah, going for that, that late nair to be able to mix up the timing of the eye on that. Okay. Yeah, 83 is not bad, but I think the the thing that makes this matchup so hard, other than, of course, RPS just being skewed in Puff Crouch, um, is just the lack of kill confirms pre, like, 120 for, uh, for Sheik on Puff. Yeah, you have, like, these, these up airs off of down tilt there or down throw. Yeah. Um, but again, that won't kill on a stage like uh, Pokemon until about you know 90 plus percent. Yeah, if they just do proper survival DI too, it's like it's really rough. Ooh, great double fair. Yeah. Sinbad with so much momentum now. Yeah, Sinbad looking super solid. I feel like it's just been wow watching Dawson just get a really really solid punish and then playing the 50/50 at ledge. Oh, oh, that's gonna be the man. star KO too. That's that really unfortunate. For Sinbad, that is. Oh, yeah. 
I learned how to play this game years ago with Prince Abu. He used to go to Ohio State. He just yeah. taught me whenever you're going to get rested, just hold down. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how you don't see that one coming if you're Sinbad, but they even it back up for a last stock situation in game one. All right. Like I said, there's possibilities of upsets all the way through this bracket. Okay. Wow, what a conversion. Oh. Trades out with that F smash, though. Just going to start getting scarier. Oh, trades out again. With the roll in, that was big. Yeah, the roll in up tilt, surprisingly ballsy, honestly. Okay, this is Ooh. possibly the entire match. Oh my goodness. Sinbad somehow gets oh. the ledge. And this. Oh, wait a minute. DI away DI means away. only fair can hit. Yep, still good though. That's damage. Oh, that up air might have killed. Oh. Okay, I like how Sinbad's playing so grounded right now. He's just looking for jab and to confirm. Mm -hmm. um, he's not looking to get sniped by an up air or back air out of shield, so he's just trusting his wave dash out of shield. Oh, hold on a second. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know how many jumps Dawson had left, but it felt like not that many. Oh, they're both fishing right now for the kill confirm. There's not the S-Smash. Oh, oh, I think that Sinbad wanted a tomahawk option, not that roll. Yeah. Okay. Weak back air doesn't do it. I'm just holding that space right there on the side plat. Oh, my goodness, Dawson. Oh, oh my god, the just do it up smash. Wow. All god. right, Sinbad, taking game one. That was that was tense towards the end. Yeah, no, that was a very tight battle. Um, Dawson, I, I think that just uh, I don't see this guy Tomahawk a bunch. I level with you. There's not a lot of empty landing. Yeah. Um, it may be that Sinbad's not giving many opportunities where he's stuck in shield, um, but I, I do think that the the understanding of you know the RPS has been a little bit. A little bit messy. So Puff taking away the platforms here. And I, I do think that overall Sheik probably benefits from them more than more so than Puff. Yeah, I think that on the other side of it I would say more that like Puff Sheik gets less advantage from their or I don't know how to say it. I'm trying to like frame this in a way that makes sense to me. But basically Puff just reaps raw benefit from like the matchup. She gets hurt more than uh, gets less benefit, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Moving around these needles. And man, jab forward or doesn't kill at 112. Yeah, that's crazy. Man, just to squeak out that backer there. Okay. Okay, yeah, and he, so that was a tomahawk, but then Dawson goes immediately for like a full hop up air, expecting a full hop from Sinbad. Yeah. Now the. Oh. Love the needles there, fun landing. Yeah. No, I think it, I think it really just helps like cover your, cover yourself. There's that roll in up tilt again that we saw late last game. Okay, finds the knockdown. Oh my god, I that can't believe he's alive. Yeah, that's crazy. The Dreffen, and that kills. Wow. Yeah, Sinbad's squeezing that one back. I think that it's so rare to see <laughs> Sheik down or used in this matchup, I feel like. Right. Because like, being at a place where Puff's going to land on Puff, like you're able to land on Puff, um, pretty hard. Pretty sure it's the first one we've seen all set and it ends up working out. Yeah. This is really close, man. I mean, if Sinbad can take this, that's Dawson in losers really early. Yeah, this is like round two or three, I imagine. Right. You know, might be to get out of Fool's Winter side. Sinbad is of that caliber. True. But. And I love how Sinbad is controlling stage right now. Okay, gets the grab. DI yeah. out. Yep. Good DI out. Good patience on Dawson's side there, but kind of flubs the juggle. All right. Gosh, neck and neck right now. Okay, that's an easy shield grab. Takes yeah. the nair. I like this a lot. This is oh, kind of dripping like in the approach. You uh -huh. have that stack full of needles at all times and bat puff away. There's the tomahawk up tilt. Yeah, good stuff. Trade benefits oh. Sinbad. 
wow. brilliantly covering in the roll. And that actually kills off the side. Sinbad a stock away from 2 owing Dawson now. Yeah, I mean, it is Puff, and so it's... I never, I I never really feel safe on last stock sets. No. I can't do it. No, I think I think Puff is virtually always favored in last stock situations. Yep. Like, they just have, like, the, the aura, like, the energy of, I'm going to find a way to rest or wall of pain you. All right, that should be the stock here. Yep, just grab ledge. 45%. We're going to get some standard follow-ups, but this isn't even close to kill percent just yet. Okay. Oh. Sinbad, how are you going to approach this? Dawson looking for these up airs that could lead to a rest. Yeah. I actually like how deep in Sinbad's going, uh, risking trading. Oh, my goodness. Um, just to be able to get extra percent. Oh, man. Buff. That's good damage. Yeah, these up airs actually bring the lead back around to Dawson's side. Oh, oh, Dawson knew but wasn't positioned well enough for the rest. This could be big. No. Oh, my goodness. Sinbad's out of there. Okay. That's the jump. The air dodge. The confirm. Resets Throw the situation. Grab. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Sinbad somehow avoids that. But Dawson has racked up so much damage. Yeah, the pressure's back huge. on Sinbad to find a way to win this. Oh, no. Not quite able to find it. Oh, fighting back in this close quarter situation. Staying so grounded. Getting that first jump out. Oh. Another needle to save his landing. Oh, my goodness. They're just going in. Yeah, a lot of run-up shield here. I'm surprised Dawson hasn't tried to grab. That's going to be there up there. Oh, man. And a little pop-off there as well. Dawson holds on in that match, and uh, we're going to a game three. Man, that was tense. That was tight. Yeah. Both games have been really tight so far. It always comes down to the wire. Yeah. thing is, Sinbad was able to take that game one, so they're going to pick this stage. Imagine you're probably thinking about banning Yoshis. We were already on Pokemon. Yeah. So either I, I banning Yoshis or yeah. Can we just go to Battlefield? It's the right call, honestly. Yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, right I thought there. that might have been a rest. Yeah, no. It was. Uh, it was definitely looking like it could have been, but. CC forward smash. That's yeah. Why crazy. not? Yeah. Just let it rip. Okay. I feel like that had to have been a, a missed drop through fair. But yeah, th if that's intentional. <laughs> you've got a better understanding of the game than I ever could. <laughs> I don't think a single Sheik has ever meant to forward smash besides Tapper. Yeah. But man, what a legend. More of these downers coming out, too. Dawson with a strong start to game one, or game three so far. All right. And this is the first time Dawson has had a lead since, like, game one. Yeah, and like a solid two. two. Right, right. It's uh, it's definitely felt very, very tight all the way through. Okay, it's that jab. I like Sinbad just getting up on platform there to see if they can scout anything. That was brilliant. Like yeah. the tomahawk shield drop there. It's so hard to catch people with that, but it's so good. Getting shield drop there consistently is also like something I feel like a lot of people don't do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Air dodge gets grabbed. Nice. Actually, he's getting all the way down there. Oh. Oh wow. my god, the triple fair. That's a lot of damage. And Sinbad has been doing such a good job of avoiding these offstage edge guard attempts and somehow snaking to ledge. Yeah. You know, definitely has a knowledge of like all the little ways that you can kind of mix up Sheik's timing. Uh, for recovery. Should grab ledge. Sent back towards center stage. Unfortunate for Dawson. Yeah, no. Getting that reverse on that? Oh my god. Wow. That was cool. Sinbad's so crazy at finding these uh, these forward airs. Honestly. Oh, that could have been the whole kill. Yeah. Okay, gets the grab. Okay, Sinbad back. trying to fight out of the corner. Dawson putting on so much pressure. Oh, my, oh goodness. my goodness. Okay, I'm just coming up top. Sinbad goes for the kill, misses it, and gives up safe position. Wow, still alive. Uh, just barely holding on here. Both of them want to get this kill first so badly. I mean, you just want the chance to build a little bit of a lead going into yeah. this next dog. Give me that extra credit. Give me something right now. And this has to be a kill. Yep. All right. And all the little rest setups just going to start getting right back into it. This is perfectly even, man. Is this going to be an upset? Or is Dawson going to hold on? I, I don't know, honestly, at this point. It is literally anyone's game. 
But right now, Sinbad stacking on the damage. Gets put in knockdown. I like the, the no roll in. You know Dawson was waiting for that. Yeah. No, and I, I really love that Sinbad so rarely jumps, but when he does... Oh, the usually. double jump fair from offstage. No jump left. Oh. But somehow Dawson doesn't convert there. Yeah, Dawson's finishing a few key Oh, there's the roll in. Oh. He gave it to him, but Dawson wasn't ready. Dawson was trying to bait that for so long and eventually just gave up, like, okay, he's not going to give it to me. And that's exactly when Sinbad does it. And yeah. here comes Sinbad. Coming in on hot off ledge, 130, though. He's been getting so many varied recoveries. Like that one in particular, where he just fades back a little bit to mix up the timing. What a so ledge dash. Key. Sinbad has been recovering his heart out, and Dawson just can't close out so many of these uh, different opportunities. Here's another one. Oh, maybe. Wow. And yeah, again. again. What can Sinbad do with this last stock, though? Just needs to get as much, <laughs> as much extra credit as possible. That is going to bring us to last stock game three, Zets. Is 8% enough of a lead for Sinbad to bring it home? There's four minutes. I say he's got four minutes in a dream. Oh, oh baby. Oh, the, the Tomahawk Crab. That was beautiful. Yeah, really stellar sneaking that in on the spot, dog. This is getting out of hand for oh, Sinbad. Man. Dawson is coming. Okay, I love that he's just wave dash forward, F tilting and jabbing so much. Oh, Holding center stage. Oh my goodness. And again, going for these aggressive offstage edge guards. I don't think he's hit a single one. Okay, the refresh there. Oh my goodness. The invincibility barely saved uh, Dawson or Sinbad from that forward yeah. smash. Oh, this is huge actually. He's got stage positioning, edges the landing. Oh, barely misses the fair. 69%. He's going to have to work a little bit more. He needs like one or two more aerials. Okay. Okay, we're getting at that point where down throw oh, fair. Oh, is that his double jump? He has to go to Zelda, no. and I don't think he can make it back. Oh. Dawson oh. with the pop-off. Wow. Crazy stuff there. Every single game, all three games were super down to the wire. Man. So tense. Wow. Yeah, it looked as though just Dawson just got a slight lead and was able to just milk it all the way to the end zone. It was, uh, it was good. Damn. Yeah, that huge, like, conversion from, like, zero to, like, 64%, like, carrying uh, Sinbad all the way to the top platform. That put Dawson in a really good position, and you know, unfortunately for Sinbad, couldn't quite overcome that in the end. But really, really good showing. That's a sheik that could do a lot of damage in this losers bracket. Absolutely. I mean, this is a stacked bracket. We have something like 738 entrants uh, for melee in general, melee singles. That's wild. Yeah, and I'm sure there's been some DQs, you know. Um, but it's a uh, it's good to see folks back. And right now we've got Calvar coming up to stage uh, versus what looks like Eggy. Um, Calvar's been making waves, of course, for the last couple of years. Right. Um, New England player. He's uh, from New Hampshire, I believe. And Eggy is, he's long time been a uh, very respected PR peach main from Chicago. Okay. Kind of like, uh, I mean, Chicago is insanely deep, so being like in like the 10, like 11 range on their PR is very solid, and that's yeah. usually where that Eggy is work. called. Yeah, that takes a lot of work. But uh, Calvar, top 100. Uh, I don't know if Dave's been winning uh, the weeklies as much. I know Doc Lobster and uh, Bonfire 10 have both been doing really, really solid work as well in that region. Bonfire 10 also here. Uh, at Riptide. Got a lot of representatives from all our various regions. It's lovely to see. Yeah, man, it feels good to be back. It's like it's like not even just like that we're here. It's that like there's so many more. There's like so many more majors to look forward to if you're going to like a main stage, if you're going to a low tide city. Yeah. Um, like we, we haven't had majors. We haven't had things to look forward to. Um, and that's big for a lot of people. Like having something to look forward to, it's like, I just got to get through like the next couple of weeks of work, and then next month I'm going, you know, yeah. going to the West Coast. I'll, I'll see the game. It's gonna yeah, be great. that's that's huge. Uh, and now I think we all have a lot to look forward to again. Yeah, it's uh, it's just nice. That's uh, that's really all there is to say about it. I think that it's just a really great time to be back. And like, melee is in such a good spot too. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really know that we could be in much of a better position given like where we were like a year and a half ago. Yeah. Like when the pandemic and everything started, um, I think a lot of people were pretty concerned. You know, we had net play and you know, that was better than nothing, play, but yeah. we had delay base. You know, 
definitely a lot more lag than what we're accustomed to now. Um, but with Slippy having basically completely revitalized the scene, there's it's not just that we've maintained where we were. I feel like we're, we're back to growing with so many yeah. new players getting into the game, and it's, it's a really exciting time for the scene. Yeah, definitely injected a lot of new blood in with Slippy. It looks like we're going to go ahead and get started here with Eggy versus Calvar. Battlefield's the stage. Let's get into it. Yeah, oh. man. We used to oh. see this all the time with Armada and, and Mewtwo King. That was, oh man, those sets were some of my favorite to watch. Super Smash Gun 2018. Uh, I believe it was 2018, 2019. I think, I think it might have been 2018. I think yeah, it was, yeah. 2018. Because uh, I think Armada retired at the end of he 2018. He did, he did. Um, but yeah, Super Smash Gun 2018, one of the best grand finals of all time, in my opinion. True. Um, Absolutely but true. But yeah. basically, Peach needs a turn up. Yeah. And Martha knows that. So yeah. they're going to be playing around that. Um, she's going to be like in this space where she might pull a turn up. Really nice forwarder there. Um, and if Marth thinks that, he goes in and tries to deny that. But at the same time, she can dash attack and call him out for trying to deny that turn up. So it's going to be a lot of neutral paste on that. Really nice start from both of these guys so far. Yeah, Eggy definitely taking that first stock nicely and getting a lot of percent right now. Yeah, being able to just like know the exact space where you can safely deal with Marth forward air and then counteract that mm -hmm. is so important in this matchup. Peach also just struggles without a turn up in hand, which like you said, leads to that kind of a, uh, that set of interactions. Nice. Okay. okay. Good edge guard by Eki. And I imagine Calvar is the higher seed, yes. um, if just by a bit. Okay, raw smash. Nice fade at the end there. Swooping in and then going right back out. I can't believe that actually worked a little bit. Oh. Yeah, he has been doing a good job of like calling out a lot of just Calvar's jumps as well. Okay, nice. More air dodges. Uh, that's going to be one of the most common options for Peach to recover. She doesn't have a lot of great options, and that, that's like really her biggest weakness is from the ledge and trying to avoid getting sharked repeatedly over and over. Yeah, Peach has so much trouble against Marth, particularly in the corner. Um, just like Mar a Marth with center makes this matchup miserable. So, oh, that's possibly yeah. it, yeah. Not enough resources, and Calvar's stolen the lead back from Eggie. Okay. Oh, and no. so many air dodges now, Calvar's wisened up to it. Another one. And it's like, what else does Peach even do in that spot? It feels really tough. Yeah. Um, if you can't go high of this matchup's recovery, this becomes so much harder. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, Eggy just hoping to make it back with that. Great SDI up through that. Eggy might have overcommitted a little to the left as well. But Okay. This is so doable, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you're one, like, 50% down smash away from evening it up. All right, catch on that. Safely waits that out. I feel like Calvar is going for a lot of these like little checks into forward smash just to see if he can catch him being lazy. Um, oh man. But Eggie is being very, very patient in his own. There's yeah, the air dodge. So many air dodges on these recoveries. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Really good movement from Eggie there. Oh my goodness. This is this feels tough now. Yeah, this is definitely the percent where it's going to be a struggle bus, but oh, definitely had the awareness on that one. Didn't quite get the execution on it. Oh, so many things kill at this point. They really do, and doing a great job of DIing out of these uh, these side bees. Love that down throw. Oh, oh my goodness, oh, Calvar with an air dodge of his own. Hold on a moment. Yeah, the backer out of shield is huge, but early up B, very yeah. nice from Calvar. Okay, the double hit. Goes for the triple, but the fair is going to beat that out. 184, and that's, that's going to take it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so close between these guys. We have been running it just really tight today, Zess. Yeah. I mean, we had that Tyler Swift set uh, where it was a four-stock game one, and then game two was not Super a four-stock. It was, it it was, was last a lot stock. closer. Yeah. yeah. Um, since then, it's it's really been a lot of nail biters. Yeah, really, though. All 11 a.m. Right. melee, man. A special time. <laughs> And we're going right back to Battlefield. Yeah, I, I can see this, honestly. I mean, Dreamland gets banned. Uh, maybe you're not a big fan of FOD. Oh yeah, I, I don't think the, the stage ultimately matters 
too much unless it's like FD or something. Like yeah. That. Okay, good damage here from Kalvar. Eggy like, taking his time to get back down, I think that's really important. Yeah, no. I, I do like how he has that, uh, like, it's a quick DJC uh, back air to be able to sneak in to the left there when he's on top platform. Uh, really great landing tool. Really mixes a lot of people up. Oh. Oh, the pivot, and that's yes. it. That's so clean. So many Mars are just doing that stuff now. Yeah, I mean, there's been a long history of pivoting Marth, but I feel like it's finally at the point where it's saturated the mid-level. Right. Um, it's like not seen as like this forbidden like <laughs> sauce that you could get. Right. You know? I still remember uh, PPU beating HBox at like Apex 2015. Yeah. Uh, using that technology for the first time. Uh, I mean, Arc definitely like pioneer tippers, but the application was definitely there for PPU. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, not to take away from Mark. I just meant like yeah. it was the first time we'd seen PPU uh, incorporate that. Yeah, it was solid. Right? I think he also did a little bit of it at NCR, uh, but I'm not certain. Oh, unfortunate miss from Calvar there. Okay. This is big. Yeah, actually enormous, but. Delaying the air dodge. That's a lot of what Peach has to do. Is like Ooh. you know an air dodge is coming at some point, but changing up the timing of it and then mixing in aggression. Oh like my goodness! Throwing an aerials helps a lot. I will say that Eggy has just gotten on top of Calvar's like timings out of shield. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So many pummels. That was a little disrespectful. A little bully mode. Absolutely. I don't know why we didn't see a four throw at some point there. That would have been a pretty good decision. I think. Yeah. Would have been the play, for sure. And now instead, Calvar is starting to get some value off of these hits. All right. Nice. Good Z-catch. Oh, the up out of shield gets grabbed? Yeah, that's hilarious. I mean, it has the sound before it has the hitbox. So, oh. Forward throw. <laughs> I'm sensing, I'm sensing some, uh, some malice in those pummels. There was some animosity yeah. in the pummels. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So many air dodges, dude. Yeah. That is different, different times and lengths, but this is huge. Eggy is popping off right now. Yeah, this has been going very well. Again, yeah. Calvar did have like a SD at like a mid percent, but yeah. still Eggy has been doing so much work. Oh my That's his yeah. one counter from yeah. ledge he gets. I feel like Marth's, they get like one counter from ledge per set. Yeah. And then when you do it, like people remember that it's a thing and then they don't get to fight again. Okay. Yeah. The Hancock. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a call. You haven't that. heard that? No, Dude, no. If you go back and listen to uh, uh, Armada versus P or, uh, PPMD, like Marth Peach, yeah. like Apex 2013 Grand Finals, like both those sets, Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they call it the Hancock when you kill with a throw off the top. Okay. Oh, is it because of uh, where he just throws that guy up in the movie Hancock? Um, I don't know. I I've never like seen it has that movie. To be. It's, uh, but it's okay. I'll, yeah, it's not great. Okay, it I'll might not even be good. I'll take your word for <laughs> it, and I just won't watch it. Okay, Eggy though, Eggy two stocking Calvar, and at the end there had some dash dances that looked completely aware of what Calvar wanted. Yeah, yeah, the movement has been really nice. Um, looks like we're going to FD. Apparently, looks like Yoshi's might have been the ban. I can see it honestly. I mean. I feel like being stuck in that tight space with Peach can be a little bit worrisome, but she definitely dies so easily. Uh, FD, though. The juggles are just going to be insane. They're both just such good stages. Oh, nope, Pokemon. Well, Pokemon Stadium? Okay. This is going to afford Eki a lot more room to pull turnips, but we do see Calvar counterpicking the red mark. Yeah. Might be the, uh, the power-up he needs. Who knows? Guess we'll find out. Both of them narrowly whiffing with their best move. Okay, finds that. I feel like uh, Eggy's awareness in the corner to like either uh, to either like be far enough back. And Dave's not overshooting a bunch. Calvert's not overshooting a whole lot. It feels like. Uh, what a grab! All right. 
up here, dog. <laughs> okay. Calvarm's been trying that. The problem is, Marth doesn't have a great throw animation. It's kind of slow. It's so slow. It, it's one of the slowest in the game. Um, and it, I think it's... If Marth had good item data, this matchup would be so much worse. True. Yeah. It would be actually insane. Okay. Peach living. Okay. Yeah, Calvar's taking this nice and slow, honestly. And that's, that's what you have to do as Mark. You have to be willing to play this game over and over and over again. Yep. It's just got to be neutral after neutral, and that's going to go ahead and take a tipper up there at 187 on Yoshi's. Or, sorry, not Yoshi's. Uh, from one stadium. Definitely a good pickup. And what can you do at 115? How much more damage can he get? This might be a kill. No, another oh, early yep. up B. The weak soft there, there too. There you go. That should be death here. A little refresh ledge. Now. Wow. And he got stuck in his movement and couldn't grab ledge in time. Yeah. Okay, another trade. Okay, nice. I, for a moment, I thought he was going to make it back again, but super even again. Yep, just 50%. Eggy just getting put over in the corner there by necessity of the angel platform invincibility. Really nice pick up there by Calvar. So much damage. Double dash attack out of the corner. Yeah, covering that slide off quite nicely. Not able to get that up here. Forward throw here. Yeah, just get the positioning. 69 straight percent for Eggy. And it just doesn't stop. Yeah, it feels like Calvar's just getting a little bit antsy. Just wants to get a straight hit in to be able to even this up. Yeah, he wants to kind of stifle the momentum that Eggy has gotten, yeah. but I feel like Eggy's playing into that dynamic really well. Yeah, no, playing playing a, a game that is just forcing this pressure down on Calvar. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, and the taunt. Oh, wow. But Eggy somehow survives that. I thought he was so dead. If if Calvar loses, that's a... That's an SVAT taunt. Yeah, that's an SVAT taunt for sure. You're down. You did get the kill with the up smash. I mean... Yeah, I you don't see that kind of thing nowadays. Like no. you don't see like these kind of like uh, like animus taunts. Yeah, it's a little bold, a little brash. Yeah. It's it's kind of old school now. Yeah. New Age Melee is pretty wholesome, and, and that's cool. Yeah. But I, I don't mind I don't mind a little bit of uh, a little bit of smack talk. A little bit rude. Set. Yeah. A little bit of rude new maneuvers. What do you do here? You get grabbed. Air dodge? No. Goes for the fair. Okay. Air out. Eggy went in so hard there. Oh, that's oh, Eggy kept their float. Okay, that's huge. Eggy fighting out of the corner, really, really well too. Okay. Good di on that fair. Didn't allow a follow up. Oh, oh he's covered dead. that he's dead. brilliantly, and Eggy has an opportunity to score the first upset of pools. We've seen with so many come so close. Oh. Okay, yep, just the dash attack there, the weak hit's not gonna lead up to anything right now. Oh, oh the up air was a little too early. Okay, last stock, game of three, we've seen this how many times today? So many times, and is Calvar oh. going to just dig deep enough to stave off yet another upset? Okay. Eggy trying to find Nation. a way down. Nice. Resets, finds the back air. Feigns the turn up pull and then goes in immediately. Oh. This Only is holds scary. The air. So much damage. Good oh. patience, but the up tilt is too late. Okay, finds the grab. The wake up spot dodge doesn't work. Oh, oh baby, this might be it. Oh my goodness, the faint. Iggy with so again. few options. Oh, Somehow oh that my misses. goodness. Forward throw off there. Oh. Okay. Oh, again, again. He finds another grab. He needs one hit here. Oh my goodness. Yo. The jab grab. No way. Calvar was mashing for his dear life. Oh, oh that's it. That oh. is it. Eggy with the upset over Calvar. Oh, man. And the anger is evident. That is. He just wrapped his whole hand in the paracord. <laughs> he really did. He's cutting He's off his just... own circulation. Oh, my goodness. The SVAT taunt. <laughs> Dread it, run from it. It arrives yeah. all the same. All the same. And you know what else arrives? 
products and services for ads. <laughs> and sometimes you just got to run it. So we'll be back after a quick break. We'll see you all soon. Stay tuned, guys.
All right, welcome back, everybody. We're here once again at Riptide, uh, getting used to premium melee content. I'm Studebaker. I'm Zets. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get Geogoat versus Null. It's a Geo on Geo battle. Um, both these lads, I believe. Is he actually named Geo? Um, like, is his, like, like government first name Geo? Or did, yeah. I don't know. Oh, dang. Yeah, I know we that he's a cool a bro. Bobby, we might have a Bobby Baby Walt situation. <laughs> that guy's name is Isaac. Like, Yeah, he kind of looks like an Isaac, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's from Chicago. Pretty cool guy. Everybody knows Null. Yeah, Null, uh, sometimes <laughs> punch bag of SoCal, it feels like. Yeah. Um, but the man is really cracked. I was playing him in friendlies. I didn't take a single one. Really? I came kind of close sometimes. Okay. Which, which felt pretty good. But yeah, it's, no, uh, that, if anything, that's a good look for you. Yeah, but uh, no, he's uh, he's quite good. He was running the setup with me and Yingling on it, so. Right. Yeah, so he's definitely got it. Right on. Yeah, I think, um, so Geo is the Red Fox. Yep. And then we've got Nell, Standard, Vanilla, the good stuff. Like that call out. Even if you're wrong, you ledge dash, and you don't really give up too much stage position. Yeah. And you can probably just get the, the jump on back air to back air as well. Um, oh, dang. That would have been a crazy shine if that worked out. True. Geo fighting back here. Should be pretty simple to take this. Yeah, nice and easy. Running right at the Invincible Fox. Okay. Okay, finds this grab. This could be big. This is that dash back if we get that re-grab, though. Okay. Yeah, no ledge dash from Null. That can be a punish. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> no. Just get up attacking each other. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> Null definitely knowing I should probably CC this just in case. Oh, grab the wake grab. up grab. Not every day you see that. Okay, trying to shield. Oh, yeah, just a bit of a flub there from Kyogo. That should be the stock. Yep. All right, here comes Geo. 
Okay. Getting shined. So much patience from Null here, trying to force Geo to make the first move. Yeah, I mean, you figure he's got a, he's got that lead to work. Why not? You know, why not do that? Oh, doesn't get the backer oh. out, and it would have just killed. Okay. Right, the knockdown. That should be death. Keeping it real even here, Geo on Geo. Um, yeah. Good use of just patience there on the ledge, waiting out the angel on its ability. Gonna go ahead and just see about coming in here. What can he get with center? Uh, going for a lot of reads. Yeah. Okay, finds the knockdown. Nice. Oh, the forward air there. Might not be intentional. Gets a couple hits, though. Yeah, this is actually looking really good. Oh, oh. man, you don't see that too often either. The ledge. Nice. And he fastballs just in time. Okay. First big lead here for GeoGo. Oh, and my God. That, is that going to be it? No way. Oh. Oh, my okay. God. Good side B from yeah. Null to hang on to this last stock of game one. Yeah, instantaneous. And he's going to go ahead and bring it down here. Only 19%. That's pretty workable. But Null not getting much off the invisibility. Finds his knockdown. Misses the follow-up, though. So many spots that shines from Geo have just been working out. And he's all over Null right now. Okay. Yeah, he's got the lead. He's able to work that pretty nicely. Null's so patient in his dash dance game. Oh. Oh my goodness. Up and around the forward smash. Shine out of shield looking good. Oh. Okay. Oh, the dash attack a little too late. Oh, the super high nares. Oh, oh the he jump called call. it out. He had the jump call out. out. Oh, my God. Geo takes game one somehow. Wow. And he is happy, man. He's got the Midwest crowd behind him right He's now. He's pumping himself up. Yeah, there definitely is a little bit of a crowd forming. He's pumping himself up. He's, like, hitting his own knee. Yeah. We've no, all been there. We've all been there, for sure. He knows how good Null is. He knows that this is not going to be easy. No, this would be a huge win for him, too. And he's moving. Yeah, he is looking really, really solid right now. Oh my god. Look goodness. at the reactions. Again. Yeah, no, just oh, really, really solid. He went for the lucky. Chases. Null trying to get on the board here. Okay. And this could be big. Yeah, not quite able to find that. Oh, the shine actually planking out with up smash. Are you kidding me? That's the thing is, I feel like Null has missed a lot of edge guard opportunities, and or Geo has just had a really good recovery yeah. to afford him so many other opportunities. And Geo is just continuing to put in work here. Null has to find an answer soon. Super commanding first stock, but right now, Null coming off the plat. Managed to get an early setup, but doesn't find much after it. Let's see what comes here. Okay, nice double up air. Yeah, good damage. Snap the ledge. No. And, oh. oh, misses that back air. Unfortunate drift. Keeps it going, though. Geo finally out of that. Could How did he get percent of his land own. that grab? He was so far away. Yeah. Null has been actually just rolling in on side platform almost every time. But sometimes Foxes do that just so they have positioning to get good survival DI. But, sure. But uh, it's, it's something I'd love to see Geo go uh, pick up on. Oh, nice. Good SDI through the drill back to center stage. Yeah, he's got a lead, but... Fox Dittos, man, they can really just run it either way. These guys are going in oh, so hard right now. Dude, yeah. Geocode, his follow-ups have been really, really solid, too. True. Oh. The back throw. Really nice back and forth from Null. He was going in, and then he runs, dashes back, and baits Geo oh. into trying to do something. Oh, where's the down smash? Oh, yeah. There to Nair. Nice. Very clean, very clean. Null stealing the lead back just in the nick of time. Yeah, it really feels like stopping Geogos momentum is so important right now. Like, you just don't want to be fighting from behind Ooh. while you're down a game. No, not at all. All right, good patient play there on platform as well. Okay, the Thunders. He SDI'd so far away but couldn't get up high yeah. enough. And this is so much damage for Null, my goodness. Yeah, holy cow. Brilliant follow-ups, the fair. Oh, oh barely, <laughs> barely. What a nair there, too, to send him back off stage. And Geo needs to find something oh. here. That's a good start. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Good check yourself, Smash. All right, Null in a good spot. Yeah, 66% though. Honestly, it's uh, it's possible, but the patience there. Misses that uh, that up throw up here. Yeah, 
boxing out Gio Go right now. Oh, oh my shine God. on the jump call out. Great pickup oh, there for man. Gio, and he's a stock away. And he's ledge dashing <laughs> in this situation. That's what you got to do. Yeah. You got to believe in your training. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. But we're going to a game three. Null with a JV2, again, after an explosive start from Gio. Yeah. Just got to keep that momentum. I'm pretty sure his hat says Denny's sucks. It says Denny's suck in the Waffle House font. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Denny's kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and defend Denny's. Yeah. That's, not, that's not what I'm here to I'm, do. I know I'm offending a lot of people right now, but sorry, y'all. Yeah. I'm not saying Waffle House is better because Waffle House is just meant to be the golden mecca of how much my 3 a.m. drunk self arrives. Dude, rest uh, in peace your Twitter mentions, bro. I do not want to see what's going dude, on there right now. It can't be nearly as bad as the time I called Yoshi lame. Let's be <laughs> oh my god! I called Yoshi lame when Omsa was on screen and people lost their minds. I would I would have lost my mind actually. Yeah. We, we should talk about that later because uh, right. that's that's a little sus. Yoshi's punish game sick. Yoshi's neutral on a lane. Not gonna lie. Oh but, no, uh, you play Falcon. And I love Falcon, but like, oh wow, that might just be a kill. That's insane. That Super low percent, high yeah. value kill there for Null. Okay, yeah. The delayed back air, Null might be SDIing for an up air. Really like yeah. the timing mix up. I love the timing mix up. All right. Okay. Finds that good snap to ledge there. Yes, that was so important. And. Gio go. Oh, oh my goodness. Yo. No. Oh. Gio went all the way in dude, trying to. Dude, he's popping off, dude. Yeah, he's so into this he, right now. He wants this so bad, and he knows that he just kind of put himself just even further in the hole. And he knows he can do it. Look at the way that yeah. he's continuing to play. Okay, he finds the knockdown. No. Big damage. 40% is huge. Up smash out of shield. No. Yeah. Oh. Finds it That's anyway. That's not going to kill. That doesn't kill no. even with that DI. No. And he covers ledge. I don't even dislike oh. that. Oh, Jumps too early. Yeah, he went for the shield pivot. How many more opportunities can Geo afford to miss? Oh, man. No, giving him a little bit of a favor there. Yeah, a little freebie. Okay. Okay, finds the shine, but again, getting get up attacks. So many times now. Yeah. No, throwing him back on stage, why not? Yeah. Barely too late on the up smash. Oh, the grab, raw. Oh, my goodness. This yeah, is your time, Geo. This is so huge. Good back air from Null. Grabs yeah, ledge. Was high. And what an Ooh. up smash. You don't see that call out too often. Null one stock away from moving on. Yeah, he knows that he's got Geo scared from grabbing ledge. Um, he's killed him a few times for it, uh, for the straightaway Firefox angles. Mm -hmm. so he probably figured that's where he'd be rolling with the high one. Catches him on the knockdown. Oh, oh the he has no out. jump. This is huge. Oh, that's so much percent. Geo fighting back, needs this up smash. That will kill, and we're going to a last stock situation, but with 76%. Can Null close it out right now? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, hold on a second. He error. goes for the up throw once, the guaranteed oh. damage doesn't oh want goodness. the cheese. Okay. And that's caught. just it. That is going to be that. And Null taking it last stock over Geo Goat. Wow. Game three. And he's got to be wondering about that SD. Yeah. Oh. Man. Really, really good stuff to Null for holding on. Gio was just coming out guns a blaze in the first half of the set, and he had really good moments throughout the entirety of the set. But yeah, honestly, wow. a crazy run. Um, Whew. That's right, man. We've only been getting bangers, really. Yeah, we've been getting a lot yeah. of bangers this block, guys, and there's so much more melee to be had, so many more blocks of pools, top 64 at some point tonight. And again, we're making it all the way through to top eight, which will be tomorrow. Yeah, so. we are running pretty smoothly as well. Cause it looks like we've got one more match, and then we're going to go ahead and get already into round two pools. OK. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're going to see a familiar out. face, actually. Yeah, we're going to get uh, Elysian Ray versus Den. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, thinking back, we saw Elysian, Elysian Ray. I keep saying Elysian. Yeah, that's fine. Elysian Ray uh, against JFlex. Um, I'm trying to remember that set. Remember, she took JFlex back to Dreamland. Yeah, she got rocked game one, it felt like. Unlike Battlefield. Unlike Battlefield. And she game plays Marth. She was really good. JFlex plays, plays Sheik. And a Marth took a Sheik to Dreamland. It did way, way better than game one. That doesn't add up to my no. my head, to my brain. I don't. It doesn't compute. Sometimes I just don't pretend to understand melee anymore. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, yeah. sometimes that comfort pick, that, you know. It's uh, it's worth having. Well, this time, um, they're playing Den. What character does Den play? It sounds like Mark. I, I hear a fox. You can hear a drill. 
There you go. That's a fox, that's actually. A fox. Yeah, there's fox and Mark. I thought I heard like 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 the swing. No, the Marth's there too. Because Elysian plays Marth. Elysian plays Marth. I was w thinking about the Sheik. There's just a lot going on right now. It's okay. It's 11 a.m. Yeah, we can just still claim it's 10 a.m. pools. It's 10 a.m. pools, uh, guys. It's 10 a.m. pools, guys. Uh, so. I couldn't get any sleep last night. There were people partying next to my, my room. Whoever would do such a thing. Yeah, I know. That's horrible. Incredibly disrespectful. Partiers. All right. So we're just getting ready to get set up for our, our last set of commentary block together. Yeah, I'm wondering like what the stakes are here. Like, is this to make it into round two pools? I feel like this has to be like losers or at least the round before losers uh, final to the pool, right? Yeah. Try to see what Den's shirt says. Um, let's see. Action as decision making for the professional weirdo. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel like it's probably a reference to something that neither of us get. Yeah, I've got no clue. Yeah, me neither. I'll level with you. I like uh, the like the just the, the color scheme. Yeah. Very eye grabbing. Very fresh. Man, it looks like Elysian Ray's got a CT jersey on, which isn't something I've thought about in a long time. That is a throwback. Shouts to Clash tournaments. Yeah, for man. Basically holding down the scene for so long. For years. Yeah. Back in the day. Like pre melee everyday era type yeah. stuff. All right, Lucian Ray finding that knockdown, but okay. Nice CC drill there. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Den so far. Yeah. Just good, Whoa. reliable punishes. Yeah, just taking that nair, holding center stage. Yeah. Although I feel like, uh, from what I'm seeing at the very least, like what they're doing in the corner against Mark, like they're respecting that space a little too much and uh, retreating to center. And that's actually costing them right now because they've been watching this punish. It's always that dichotomy of like, you want to put Marth in the corner, but also like Marth Marth's in the corner, in the corner is corner. scary. Yeah. So how do you get like maximum value without risking too much? Yeah. Oh. A little bit of a reach and that will kill off the top Den with first blood here. Okay. Got stuck in running shine there. Oh, whoa. I, that worked, I guess. Almost, no! almost worked, that is. Oh. Lysian Ray. Yeah, just some quick flubs here. Okay, the back here, there, yeah. Tip her back here at 180. I hope so. Not the most common kill move, but it'll work this time. Yeah, I'm really liking how much Den's trying to CC um, these early percent. Nice. Yeah, Den looks really solid. I think I've heard of Den before. I, yeah, I don't know anything about him, but they're looking they're looking solid. The punish game's been pretty good. They've been uh, pretty wary and neutral, I'd say, of Marth, which is always a good thing to be. It's a little bit wary. Den did land there. Yeah. I think that might have been able to be a Ooh. down air, but doesn't matter. Okay. This is good. Getting the counter hits out of these forward airs is just so important. Good pick up. Yeah, Listen Ray just having a tough time getting out of the corner here, and Den with a sizable lead. Yeah, just 12%. Uh, but a little early there to be up tilting. Surprised that uh, Elysian Ray's not going for the re -grab. I love up throw, up tilt. Yeah. I just, it's just fun. It is a good time, I will say that. Yeah, I'm not a chain grabber. That's the yeah. thing, is like, I don't, I don't like doing that. That's fair. To each their own, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh barely misses oh. that and dies. That's really unfortunate, actually. Yeah, that's, that's not what you want to be seeing. What we did see earlier, though, again, from Elysian Ray is counterpicking their opponent to Dreamland and doing way better in game two than they did in game one. Yeah, they were looking pretty nice, but it is it is Fox Mark this time. And so I'm wondering if uh, we're going to see a Pokemon Stadium or maybe, oh, back to Dreamland. You stand correct as ever, Seth. This is, this is her comfort pick, man. Yeah, I think it must be. Having all that space to work can't hurt. Okay, counter. counter out of hit stun? Okay. 
And see, like, that's the thing is, like, these side platforms aren't that conducive to the punish game. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's where the Marth wanted to go, though. I mean, up till like, barely hits on who. So, oh, very nice. And not the best DI from Den. Probably didn't expect that. Oh, but he gets back on top. Okay. Whoa. Oh, what a slide off. That was perfectly timed. Yeah, the awareness there was amazing. And again. Wow. Loving that. This is why we're on Dreamland. Oh my god. So, All right. So much time to find that. All right, Elysian. Okay. Oh, okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, the, the air dodge can work there, but the positioning made it such that you pretty much have to go to ledge and then cover that pretty well. Okay, finds the knockdown and the re grab, too. Such big damage. Oh my god. Good reactions. Yeah, it just does not stop. Nice. Oh, not quite able to finish that out. Yeah, this is where you need to finish the food. She's yeah. gotten so much damage, but like she's one interaction away from like losing a lot of the lead. Yeah. And I feel like a nair somewhere in here. Um, been a lot of like just the forward airs. Uh huh. Just like send them off stage. Yeah. Right? Add them away at most. You know? Okay. Oh. There's the up B. Doesn't get the hitbox she wanted. No. Forward tilt there. does a lot of work at 193. Okay. Oh. Oh, smash. oh my god. And even the weak hitbox of up B doesn't actually wow. quite get there. What a side B from Den. And okay. Yeah, not able to finish that. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. That's one way to get a kill. Sure is. She makes the punish game look so easy. Oh. Oh wow. And Den with some really nice shine so far yeah. to steal both stocks. I love when boxes are like unafraid enough to go ahead and try to shine the other side of Mark on the, the up there. That's so hard. True. Getting that pineapple though is so nice. Okay, finds the up throw on the platform. Right, Knew the slide off was coming, but barely misses that grab. Oh, oh and that shine could have been the whole stock. Oh yeah, she had the foresight on it, but didn't have the execution. Just gonna be able to go ahead and get that. Yeah, they're doing really, really well. Just getting to like 120. Like their combo game has been stellar, but it's the finishing factor that's not there. Oh, good movement from Den. Nice. And that is gonna be the kill. It In all likelihood, be. as long as Den doesn't mess it up. Oh, oh my God, wow. is Den alive? Yes. Yeah, totally fine. <laughs> 130. <laughs> All right. Oh. Lysian Ray on their tournament stock. Firing back, though. We'll see if we can pull this over to a game three. But Den right now looking posed, has center. That's a knockdown, though. Oh, Here's the regrabs. This is huge. Oh. What? Okay. Oh, Wake up spot dodge. Okay. Good craft cancel to not get popped up there. Oh, oh Den is the trying shine, to close it out. Shines. Nice uh, oh. forward air there to survive and get to the ledge. Elysian Ray is just trying so hard. Hang on by a thread. Oh, what an air dodge, but the up smash. Yeah, the missed tag. Oh, dead, taking it 2-0 over Elysian Ray. Yeah, and again, Elysian Ray with uh, some really interesting stuff on Dreamland and both sets that we got to see from them. Den moving on. And uh, as is the rest of the tournament, is that, I think that was our last set. That is our last set. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and run it to a quick break. Um, I'm not certain who's jumping on over, but we, uh, we're always glad to have him. Zets, this is our, I believe our first time commentating in person. Yes. Uh, we did, I think, a few sets over quarantine. Yeah, I think but there was, uh, we, we brought you on to an East Coast Friday once yeah, because yeah. you knew uh, one or both of the players that were playing. Yep. Oh, uh, that was fun. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> the Blues Clues won. Yes! Where I just got to talk smack because Blues Clues beat H-Box. Blues great. Clues did beat H-Box. Blues Clues beat H-Box. Great stuff to my mans, but... I feel like like Harry Pogger gets all the credit for being like the random guy that beat H-Box. I'm not calling Blues Clues a random yeah. guy. but I, I H-Box feel like was passing out some Ws. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the Blues Clues set, that was, that was another really good one. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen that one, I don't know if they're even on YouTube or anything. I think they are. They've got to be. You guys should check it out sometime. But... We are going to go ahead and head on over to a break. Thank you all so much for joining us. I've been Studebaker. I've been Zets. And we'll keep bringing you a great more Melee. Stay tuned. See you guys.